What's up everybody, Aditya Mahajan here and welcome back to yet another lead code video. So the problem that we'll be discussing today is problem number 1299 also called as replace elements with greatest elements on right side. Now this is part of Aries playlist. If you haven't checked it out, check the link in the description. So the problem states that we are given an array and we need to replace every element in that array with greatest element among the elements to its right and replace the last element with minus one. And after doing that, we just need to return uh, the array. Okay, so what it is basically saying is we are given an array. So let us take this array for example. So for every element, we need to check its complete right and whatever the greatest element is, we need to replace current element with the greatest element. So from here, right, we have 18 as the greatest. So we are returning 18 as the greatest. Now we need to also need to make sure that we do not need to consider the current element into considering the max. So for the second element, we, we have, uh, we do not need to consider 18. And from this, we have six as the greatest. So we get six. So similarly for all the things and for the final element, we are just returning, we are just adding minus one there. And after uh, every operation is done, we just need to return that array. You can take a look at the second example as well. Okay, so it is very similar to that. So it is one only one example. So we just return minus one. Now for the solution, what we can basically do is we can, uh, the simple approach is the brute force approach. That is for every element, let's say uh, we are at the element I, we, we will check every time all the elements to its right and we will find the max and just update the current element. So what it will happen is we will require two nested loops and first nested loop will iterate for each element and the second nested loop will uh, calculate the max of the remaining elements to its right. Now the solution for that approach is like this. So what we are doing here is we are uh, taking a first for loop uh, for iterating through all the elements uh, in the array and in in this for one iteration we will update one element now in that we are taking a current uh, maximum current and initializing it to int min so that uh, we as we need to get the maximum number so that even if they are negative we do not uh, update anything and get the garbage value so if all the elements are negative in the next for loop what we are doing is we are checking to all of its right elements that is for j equal to i plus one that is ahead of the current element till the array size and we are incrementing j plus plus and we are just checking if the current element is greater than max current if that is the case we are updating the maximum element and once we are out of this for loop we will have the maximum element present from all the right side so we'll just update that with the uh, array of i and once this complete uh, second for loop is exited we just are updating the last element of the array with minus one so that is the brute force approach. Now, the problem with this approach is that if you take a look into consideration, the time complexity is O of n square, and we are actually doing a necess unnecessary repeated work. That is if for the first element, we are calculating uh, all these maximum of all this. And for second element, we are calculating maximum of all this. So to avoid this, what we can do is we can just go into the reverse order and go on updating the elements from the right hand side which would help quite a lot. So let us take a look at how we can do that. So the solution for the second approach with the reverse traversal is like this. So what we basically do is we just need to take a maximum element and while traversing from right, we'll just keep on checking what after adding the current element, what is the maximum element? And with that maximum element, we'll be updating the current element. Okay, so let's take a look into that. So we are taking max current as minus one. So here I think constraints we are given all the values are greater than zero. So minus one works, but you can also take int min. If the array lengths are, uh, if each element is, sorry, this, this is the one. Each element is negative as well. Now for int i equal to uh, array dot size minus one because we are iterating in the reverse order. So we are uh, taking i to be the last element and we are uh, checking if till i is greater than or equal to zero and decrementing i. So for each iteration, what we are doing is we are updating the maximum element that we have till now with the, uh, the array of ith index. So what we are doing is we are taking the current value into a temporary variable and we are updating the maximum value into, into the current element. So this is we are doing because uh, we do not need to take into the consideration the current element uh, whenever we are updating that value. So that is what we are doing. And finally, to uh, before exiting this current iteration, what we are doing is we are checking the temporary variable that we created with the max element uh, that we have till now from the right hand side. 
if it is greater we are just uh updating the max current now once we exit out of this for loop what will happen is everything will get updated now this minus one also would get updated for the first element so we do not need to take care explicitly for the last element that we have so after this we are just returning the array so yeah the time complexity would be o of n and uh, this is a better approach rather than the first brute force approach so if you did not understand anything uh, comment below i'll try to respond as fast as possible uh, if you like the video hit the thumbs up button if you need more such lead code content subscribe to the channel and that's all i'll see you in the next one